again, headed to Tennessee. I'm about to speak to Lee University. It's cold. I know it's going to be colder there, but hopefully we make some impact. I'm taking guys on this journey with me. God, love, peace. Okay, so we're in the Atlanta airport, and uh, today's MLK Day. So I'm, every time I travel, I usually walk past this. Sometimes I'll stop, I'll read it if I got time. But today especially, man, I think it's, it's fitting that I stop and at least read what we got here, the legacy of a dream. Um, one of the most famous speeches he gave, but it says, I have a dream my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I got to speak tomorrow. Uh, we'll be talking about this awesome man. And so I thought it was only fitting that you guys can see what's here in Atlanta on the wall. Okay, so we are here at Lee University. Uh, just set up some merchandise. I'm about to head to the chapel, do a quick sound check. I'm excited to speak here, man. It's cold, but I'm excited to be back here. Uh, almost six months later, ready to share a good word. Do you have any PowerPoint or media needs? Um, the... You know what? I want to just do two things, if possible. I want to have a picture of my family, okay. and then I want to have like a background photo. Yeah. When I'm speaking, so would I send that to you or yeah, can you send that to me? Oh, so Dr. Walker, Dr. Thanks a lot. Where are they from? Appreciate it. You know what, man? I got them at a. Uh, I was in Houston this past weekend, and I was at a wedding. I needed a white shirt, and I ended up buying these pants. <laughs> The second interview I did, it changed my life. Now this lady's name was Esther, and I tried so hard to find a picture of her. I couldn't find a picture anywhere, but her name was Esther, and she was uh, 85 years young, and she was about this tall. She was short, right? And she was a white lady. She had all white hair. You ever seen somebody with all white hair? Let me see. Any professors got some all white hair? Let me see. Y'all know what I'm talking about. No graves, just boom, all white. And she said to me, Chris, don't, don't call me Esther. You got to call me Grandma E, is what she said. The way that I was raised, you know, somebody older than you says, you say, yes, ma'am. I said, yes, ma'am, Grandma E. And so me and Grandma E are sitting down and we're talking. I'll never forget, I'm asking her some stuff, and I think Grandma E is getting a little uncomfortable. Sometimes I ask people questions, and they start to get a little uncomfortable, right? You see somebody doing this, that means they're getting uncomfortable. They start protecting their organs, right? They do this, all right? And I was asking her some stuff, and she said to me, OK, Chris, Real quick, stop. Can you stop for a second? Can I show you my great grandbabies? I said, okay. And I'm so silly since she was, you know, wise. I thought she was gonna pull like a little Polaroid. Don't know the Polaroid pictures? She said she's gonna show me a picture. I'm waiting on the Polaroid. She's like, nah, Chris. So she pulled out the brand new iPhone, right? <laughs> I'm like, what is wrong with me? She's newer than the one I had, too. And she shows me a picture of two little girls, her great grandbabies. One is black and one is white. And she says to me, they're twins. Now, y'all, I told you I'm not as smart as Dr. King, but one was black and one was white, and I said, ain't no way they twins. Because one was dark-skinned now, like me, not like Patrick Mahomes or nothing like that. I said, I said, how, how are they twins, Grandma Aisha? She said, let me tell you this story, Chris. Let's welcome Chris Singleton. Subscribe to my YouTube. We just, I, need, I need everybody, listen, listen, listen. I need everybody to subscribe to my YouTube channel, okay? Oh, okay. 